Hey everybody, it's Taylor of Summer Del Sol here. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, you might be wondering, Taylor, why are you poorly dressed up like Bob Ross? Well, I'm here to say, honestly, I'm a little stressed out. I'm working on the braided brake, fuel, and clutch lines today for the EXO set, so I'm trying to take myself to my happy place. And also, make it abundantly clear, I am not an authority figure on this. So please, take this simply as the way that I'm setting up my kit. This is not a tutorial, but uh, you know, the best way to learn is by doing, and whatever happens after that, I'm gonna try not to think about. It. Let's dive in. Well, today, folks, as I said, we're gonna be working on this braided stainless steel brake line kit. You're gonna remove it from the bag that Exomotive has provided you, and you're gonna see these two components here. This is what you're trying to attach to the end of the line. Now, since this is going into the EXO set and I have a 1.6, I'm going to have to cut this line before I attach this, which is why I'm only attaching one side right now. I'll eventually cut the other side to length, and as you can see here, before you make the cut, it has been taped here in order to avoid fraying on the ends. Once you've taped and cut to your desired length, you can take the flange apart and pull out the inner workings that you'll need to attach this to the line. Once you open that flange up, there should be a little component in there that you're going to wedge in between the line and the flange in order to create that seal for your brake line. Now before you go fraying anything, you're going to want to slide this over the line so you have something to connect it to later. Twirl this around the happy little tree trunk a few times and it should go right on. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. And even though, while it's not the most conventional tool, one of my favorite middle school teachers, Miss Gaffney, taught me it is best to get over functional fixedness. The goal here is to give a little bit of space between the mesh surrounding the inner pipe. We want to give just enough space for our little brass friend in order to be snug as a bug inside the line. But we need to be careful that we don't harm his friend, the little inner tube, as well. And just to be safe, it's always a good idea to test and make sure it's fit and nicely snug. Once you know he's good to go, you can start affixing our little brass friend, narrow side down, into the hose. Now he's going to go in between the wire mesh and around the inner tube. He just wants to give his inner tube friend a really tight hug, and I had to help him with that. But as they say, the friends who get you through the tough times are the ones that last. And I'm counting on it because these are my brake lines. A little more delicate pressing and they're fast friends. Now that the little brass fitment is in place, we need to clean up his home for his little buddy. Even he's a little reluctant to move into his new home, but he'll soon find he's gonna get over it. I said he'll get over it. But delicate things require delicate measures. I found a twisting motion was very beneficial in getting this little buddy home. Did you almost forget our buddy from a land far away? We're going to meld these guys together and twist them up so they stay nice and tight. But eventually you're going to have to require the help of a friend wrench. And while he's going to get it as tight as he can, he's also going to need a little bit of backup too. And she's going to help make sure this stays snug as a bug. My final step will be to eventually bring these two together even closer with proper torque specs and get ready. Here comes my normal voice. Well, there you have it. That's one completed flange for the braided brake line. We're all set for this one. Anybody notice it's shaking a little bit? <laughs> My hands aren't shaking over the implications. It should be fine. This is fine. We're good. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Woo! Oh my goodness. Huh?